Hey, it's uh, Raven Tactical here. We're going to do a, a video today on how to zero the M16 M4 family rifle on kind of irons and CCOs. I'll briefly talk about the ACOG um, and how we're going to use the standard U.S. Army issued 0 to 25 meter target, right? Um, so let's just track and clear the rifle. It's clear, nothing in it, so we're good. Close the dust cover. Um, so when you get the 25 meter zero targets, uh, most of them have, and I'll put a link in the uh, description here, you'll have 25 meter zero target on one side, and if you flip it over, it'll say M16 A2A4 on the other side. Uh, the M4 obviously is set up with larger square boxes, and it helps compensate for the shorter barrel. So your traditional M4 has a 14.7 barrel, and your M16s all have 20. Now, what you're doing here is you're trying to place all your, your aiming center mass with irons, your aiming center mass, and your point of impact, you want it to all be in this circle. It's about a five centimeter circle, and you want all your impact points or impact from here. So what I'll happen is you shoot, and you, know, you actually have good fundamentals, which is key. So you have good fundamentals, and your, your point, of in, point of aim is here, and you're over up in here. Well, the squares and everything else gives you pretty close accurate of kind of how many turns to take down, or at least a rough estimate, and it should get you within, the standard is within 18, a loadout will be 18 rounds, and you, you do three, several three shot groups, six three shot groups, right? So within six iterations, you should have your point of impact and point of aim in here. If you need more, obviously use more. Sometimes people aren't familiar with the rifle as much and the fundamentals aren't there yet, right? So you are working on fundamentals as well. So once you have point of impact all in the circle, the rifle's essentially zeroed for 300 meters. Um, and then what that means is, so when you aim center mass at 25 meters, all the way out to, well, 25 meters, you're aiming center mass, right? So you're zero. At 300 meters, you're aiming center mass as well. So the bullet's gonna have an arc. Obviously, this is a way exaggerated arc. So you do have to understand that in shooting irons, that even shooting like CCOs, there's gonna be a little bit of a compensation uh, between the 25 and 300. Usually about, you know, your aiming may be a little bit lower in some cases, all the way out, and it kind of gets, you know, as you go, you're aiming, you know, let's just show a little thing. So if you have a target, you know, up here, you know, you're maybe you're, you're not aiming center mass, you know, you're aiming usually a little bit lower so that the bullet does as it travels hit center mass. And that's just ballistic art. Um, common things too, I guess, to show you the uh, mechanics of the rifle. So on the front sight tower, which is going to control the vertical stream, you're basically the up and down. You're going to basically, t you're going to see a little knob, a little detent. You're going to push that in with a bullet, a pen. They make nice sight tools for it. And you're going to go, um, I believe clockwise is up and counterclockwise is down. So it's going to be based on where you're impacting. So you move that accordingly. Uh, on the right hand side of the carry handle is your windage knob. So left and right is carried here. Now, before you get set up, you have to do it. I would recommend reading this part right here. So this talks about how to set the rifle up for the zero target. And it varies on your barrel length and it varies on kind of what kind of carry hand you have. So this detachable carry handle has what's called a six third setting. So with the M4s, you're going to the 300 meters, which is six thirds, and you're leaving. Um, on the 20 inch barrel, like the, a, the A4, which is the big longer one, you're going to the six third setting and you're going two clicks forward. And then that puts you into the basically setting from mechanical zero. You're, you're setting from zero in at this target. When you're done and you confirmed all your targets in here, on the M, M16, M4 side, you're gonna come back to that six third setting. Um, on the traditional A2s, the one people are more familiar with, with the fixed carry handle, you're gonna to go to an eight third setting and you're gonna go 
in that same direction, you're gonna go forward one. And then use zero, and when you go wanna go shoot, go on in your known distance range kind of thing, you click it back. So it's kind of an interesting and a very nice mechanical way of looking at it. You're getting uh, iron set, and you can become a pretty good shot with it. Like, um, I know the targets are fairly big, you know, it's a silhouette sized target, right? I'm trying to see if I still have a guy in here. So it's a silhouette sized target, but at 300 meters, you're taking a guy, like you can take a kid who's never shot a rifle in his life. Within a few days of explaining this, setting them up, getting them fundamentals down, he does his part and he has a good zero. He can shoot from the prone. He can hit a 300 meter silhouette. He's striking a 300 meter target the size of a man, which is pretty good considering that this is irons. I mean, people are shooting scope rifles at that far, right? They talk about it. So very cool. Um, I think it's great. Um, with CCOs, like the, so we have an aim point CCO, the uh, comp three, comp fours, right? So with shorter barrels, things do change a little bit. Your point of aim is always center mass. But when you're shooting like a CCO or a scope, um, you'll have to look into the manual, right? But for CCOs, like on an aim point, your impact is going to be lower at the base. Maybe a little bit lower than this. <coughs> and the reason why is what happens is you have sight over bore. So another scope or something sitting higher. So that's, that's the reason why. So you're zeroing, but you know, you're zeroing, aiming here, impacts here. And the same thing, the CCO, that little red dot, or the red dot on there, you can do the same thing, shoot, and hit a 300 meter target. I've done it where I was kneeling and hit 300 meter targets, and I've done it where I was shooting across the range, you know, because we had an open range set up at the time. And it works really well. The CCO, I really like red dots. ACOGS, uh, the day that I get $1,200 to spend on an optic, I will look into an ACOG. I did look at the TM a little bit. Um, same thing, um, 20 inch barrels, you pretty much set, you know, impact points are here. Uh, shorter barrels, again, aiming, and then basically your impact is gonna be a little bit lower. It varies on barrel length, and it varies on uh, fixed and detachable carry handles. Um, I think it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. I know maybe it's a little bit of a dry topic. Maybe most people wouldn't really look into it, but I think the big picture out of coming out of this is you as a rifleman, you as uh, a defender of your family, really need to focus and make sure your weapon systems are zeroed. To me, that's the biggest thing. The next step is training with that rifle because once you have a zeroed rifle, you basically are a step up above, I would say, 60% of the gun owners. Most people go out, buy this, buy a box of rounds, buy a magazine, put it in their closet. They don't ever see it again. They might bring it out on, you know, Bob has a range day kind of thing. And they pop a few rounds, they can't figure out what they're not. They just, Kentucky windage, they can't figure out how they hit it. They have no, no concept of marksmanship. This is taking marksmanship seriously. These targets don't cost much, I think. I bought an entire pack for maybe 20 bucks. And they, I still have it. I've had that pack for over 10 years at this point. These will give you a huge feedback on what you're doing. This will be a, basically an interesting way to look at it too. I mean, if you can hit a 300 meter target with the irons with this or a smaller rifle with iron sights and just, you know, you can take anybody. You can get anybody trained up on this. That's cool, right? Um, I think that should be pretty much it. Let me know if you like it. Um, let me know if you have any uh, description or tell me more in the comments. Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, just put the comments down. Um, I'll do more videos like this too as I'm kind of progressing through it. I appreciate it. everybody's uh, um, comments and video, co or not video comments, but just the overall, you know, way the direction of the channel is going. So thank you.